Windows 11, version 22H2, is expected to become available during the fall of 2022. It'll represent the first major update of the new generation of Windows, introducing a new set of features and enhancements to improve security, productivity, and the overall user experience. Although we're still months away from the release, the Microsoft team has already been showing pieces of what to expect with version 22H2. It's worth noting that improvements in the dev channel are not tied to any specific release of Windows. However, most of the new features and enhancements will ship in the next feature update, and some others may arrive even before. This guide highlights the improvements as they appear in previews through the Windows Insider program and will be updated regularly to reflect the changes. What's new on Windows 11 22H2? These are the new Windows 11 22H2 features already available through the Windows Insider program. Start menu and taskbar improvements. Windows 11 22H2 brings new settings to customize the recommended section in the start menu. While it's still not possible to disable and remove the feature, you can now choose from three different options in the Start Settings page to show fewer recommended items and more pins, including More Pins, Default, and More Recommendations. The More Pins only shows a single row of items and allows you to show more pins. The Default option shows three rows of recommended items and three rows of pin items, and the More Recommendations option offers more recommended items and two rows of pins. In addition, this new version adds another entry in the right-click context menu for the recommended and more buttons in the start menu to refresh the items. As part of the power menu settings, Windows also adds a quick access button that opens the sign-in options page. The Windows Easy of Access folder has been renamed to Accessibility, the Windows Terminal to Terminal, and Windows Media Player to Windows Media Player Legacy. Another big feature of the Start menu is folders. You can now drag an app on top of another to create a folder. You can add more apps to a folder, rearrange apps within a folder, and remove apps from a folder. It's also possible to rename the folder with the Edit Folder option. Taskbar In the taskbar, you can now scroll the mouse wheel in the taskbar volume icon to change the volume level, and on the taskbar settings page, you will now find the option to enable or disable the ability to share a window from a taskbar on apps like Microsoft Teams. The experience is getting a minor update that shows when you use spatial sound in the tooltip. Windows 11 22H2 brings some changes for the Quick Settings flyout, including a new option to open the Bluetooth and Devices setting page when right-clicking the Bluetooth button. In addition, there's a new icon next to the volume slider to make the option more discoverable. In the Notification Center, the experience improves the visibility of apps' names from the notifications. In addition, the notification design has been updated to include an acrylic background. And the animation used in the Windows Hello notification when setting up the feature has been updated. Microsoft is also updating the notification system. For example, in apps that send notifications for calls, reminders, or alarms, the three high-priority notifications will now appear stacked simultaneously. This means that you may end up seeing up to four notifications at one time, three high-priority and one normal priority. Windows 11 22H2 finally brings an updated flyout design for the system hardware indicators, including volume, brightness, camera privacy, when turning the camera on and off, and airplane mode to align with the new system style design language. These new elements also support the light and dark color modes. Furthermore, when using the Windows key plus Alt plus K keyboard shortcut, you will now see a confirmation flyout when muting a Microsoft Teams call. Also, when you open the Quick Links menu by right-clicking the Start button or using the Windows key plus X keyboard shortcut, you will notice that the Apps and Features entry has now been renamed to Installed Apps. Furthermore, the menu now includes the Terminal entry to open the Windows Terminal app. The Windows PowerShell entry will appear if the console isn't available. Also, Windows 11 now shows the estimated battery life in the tooltip for the battery icon in the system tray. The Task View, 
Windows Key Plus tab, Experience now shows Snap Groups to allow users to switch to different Snap Groups quickly. Also, the preview for Snap Groups will now show part of the desktop wallpaper to make it easier to distinguish between the groups. When you open Task View on a system with multiple monitors, the background should now be acrylic on both monitors. In addition, this version is making keyboard focus visuals more prominent in Task View to make them easier to see. Furthermore, when using the Alt Plus Tab keyboard shortcut, the experience will show running apps in a windowed interface instead of a full screen experience. However, clicking the Task View button in the taskbar will continue to show running apps in full screen. Also, the selected item in Alt Plus Tab, Task View, and Snap Assist will now use the system accent color. In addition, in this new version, there is a new interface to switch between languages and keyboard layouts with an acrylic background, and it improves the overall performance and reliability. Windows 11 22H2 also brings the ability to drag and drop files between app windows by hovering over apps in the taskbar to bring their windows to the foreground. If you attach a file to an Outlook email by dragging it and hovering over the Outlook icon in the taskbar to get the window to the foreground. Once in the foreground, drop your file into the email to attach it. You can also customize the taskbar with apps from Start's All Apps list by dragging and dropping over the taskbar to pin them. And you can drag and drop to the desktop via Show Desktop at the very left corner of the taskbar. Microsoft has added a new visual indication to the taskbar in the Share Window feature, indicating which window is being shared. This is important when multiple applications run or split your attention across multiple monitors. When you choose to share a window in your Microsoft Teams call, the shared window will now be surrounded by a colored border. On a laptop or desktop configured with more than one color profile, you will be able to add a quick setting to switch more easily between these modes. When casting Windows Key Plus K from your computer, a cast icon will appear at the lower left corner of your taskbar to indicate you are casting. Clicking the icon will open the cast quick settings where you can quickly stop the stream. Microsoft has also updated the battery charging indicator to use a lightning bolt instead of a power cable. In the quick settings flyout, when clicking the Bluetooth option will direct you to a new page within the experience that allows you to view the available device, connect and disconnect peripherals, and see the battery status for supported devices. Also, the keyboard layout section has been removed from the quick settings flyout. Do not disturb and focus. On Windows 11, the do not disturb feature makes it easy to silence notifications banners. You can set up rules to automatically turn on Do Not Disturb in the notification settings. For example, you could set Do Not Disturb to automatically turn on outside of your work hours. In addition, you can set priority notifications to control weather calls, reminders, and specific app breaks through when Do Not Disturb is enabled. In addition to changing the name from Focus Assist to Focus to help you stay on track, the feature now integrates with the Clock app for other focus tools, such as a focus timer and calming music. To start, focus is easy from the notification center by pressing the start focus button. When you start a focus session, taskbar badging will turn off, flashing of applications in the taskbar will turn off, a focus timer will appear on screen, and do not disturb will turn on. When your focus session ends, you'll receive a notification letting you know your focus time has been completed. You can personalize your focus experience on settings system focus. New snap layouts drop menu. Microsoft is also adding a new way to snap windows into snap layouts for both touch and mouse. You can try it by dragging a window to the top of the screen to reveal the snap layouts, dropping the window on top of a zone to snap it, and using Snap Assist to finish snapping your windows in the selected layout. The company has improved Snap Assist to seamlessly animate between zones in a layout for a better end-to-end -end experience. Snap Assist will now show the three most recent tabs of Microsoft Edge as suggestions to snap in the layout. You can always disable the feature from the Multitasking Settings page in the System section. When resizing apps in the snap layouts, 
you will see the corresponding app icon on top of the acrylic background. If you press the Windows key plus Z keyboard shortcut to open snap layouts, the layouts will now appear with numbers to make them easier to identify. Microsoft has updated the snap group visuals to include the desktop wallpaper to make it easier to differentiate your groups from normal windows. This will appear when using Alt plus Tab, Task View, and the Taskbar previews. File Explorer has a new default home page. However, this isn't something entirely new. Microsoft has only renamed the Quick Access page to Home and added a new icon. Also, the Quick Access name will now be the name of the first section in Home that holds your pinned folders, and the Pinned Files section is now called Favorites. The Recent section holds your recent files locally stored on the device or in the cloud. Also, the Recent and Favorite Files sections are now searchable using the box in File Explorer, even if they are not local files. The Add to Favorites support through the context menu will now be available for files and folders, and these contents will appear in the new Favorites section above Recent in Home. When using a Microsoft, Work or Education account, Favorites and Recent files from Office.com will also appear on the Home page. On the Folder Options page, in the General tab, the Open File Explorer 2 option lets you decide to open the file manager on the OneDrive folder, this PC, or home page. Also, there's a new Show Files from Office.com option that allows you to show or hide recent and favorites on the home page. File Explorer is finally getting support for tabs. The new tab system works like the experience in the web browser. Instead of having multiple instances of the app, you can now use one instance of the app to navigate multiple folders and drive locations. The default file manager for Windows 11 also comes with a redesigned navigation pane. The new visual changes provide easy access to pinned and frequently used folders and OneDrive cloud profiles, which now reflect the user's name associated with the account. Also, when navigating to folders syncing to OneDrive, the address bar displays the correct path to make it easier to understand when the folders are on the cloud versus when they are local to you. The known folders, documents, downloads, music, pictures, etc., are no longer displayed under this PC to keep that view focused on the drives. In addition, the context menu will add a few new top-level options, including install when right-clicking on font files and .inf files. Install certificate when right-clicking on .sare files. Map network drive and disconnect network drive when right-clicking on this PC. And disconnect when right-clicking on network drives. From the this PC page, when you click the see more, three-dotted menu, you will find the option to add a media server connection. Also, when right-clicking the this PC item in the navigation pane, you will find options like add a network location, map a network drive, and disconnect network drive, and the existing expand option has a new icon. The file manager includes new icons for the rename, properties, and optimize options to be more consistent and easier to understand. Finally, this version of Windows also brings the new right-click menu to Recycle Bin. File Explorer also comes with a new OneDrive integration to help you have control over storage consumption and ensure your files are syncing. When browsing your OneDrive folders, you can now see your sync status and quota usage without leaving the app. Folder Previews Furthermore, the app can now show previews of items within folders. Sharing Improvements Microsoft is working on improving the file sharing experience. For instance, when clicking the share button for a file, File Explorer will suggest contacts to share the content, nearby people, or apps. Also, when sharing a local file in File Explorer to Outlook, it will now be possible to compose an email message within the share window without going into Outlook directly. Windows 11 22H2 has a new task manager with a design that matches the desktop style. This includes a new hamburger-style navigation bar and a new settings page. A new command bar on each page gives access to everyday actions. 
Microsoft has even added a dark theme for the new Task Manager. Task Manager also now includes a new Efficiency Mode, formerly Eco Mode, feature that will come in handy when you notice an app consuming high resources and want to limit its consumption, allowing the system to prioritize other apps. In addition, the Task Manager now includes Accent Color support for the Processes tab heatmap. However, in some cases, you will see the default blue accent color to ensure readability. Windows 11 now has a redesigned version of the Print Q app that matches the new modern design. The app also has easier to use with visuals that make it easier to view and manage print jobs. Also, the print dialog interface has been updated with the new Windows 11 design language, and it can now discover network printers automatically. If you select a printer that was never available on the computer, Windows 11 will install the device automatically without opening the Settings app. Windows 11 now will launch apps maximized by default on table posture for small devices, 11-inch screen diagonal and under. The new touch keyboard and IME's designs will now show on the lock screen and where you enter your account information. Also, Windows 11 22H2 updates the media controls that appear on the lock screen for supported apps using a design similar to the media controls available through the Quick Settings flyout. However, these controls will always use the dark color mode to match the lock screen environment. Lock Screen Improvements Windows 11 now comes with an updated accessibility flyout on the login screen to align with the new modern design principles. Display Page on the display page, the pop-up design when the Identify experience now has rounded corners to match the modern design of Windows 11. Power and Battery On the Power and Battery page, the default values for sleep and screen off are reduced to save energy and carbon emissions when the computer is idle. Windows 11 will also offer power-saving recommendations to help reduce carbon emissions to those with sleep and screen offset to never. Printers and Scanners the Printers and Scanners page has been updated to show more details about the printer and scanner. Ethernet and Wi-Fi On the Ethernet and Wi-Fi page, Windows 11 22H2 adds support for Discovery of Designated Resolvers, DDR, allowing the system to discover encrypted DNS configurations from a DNS resolver known only by its IP address. Text Input The Text Input, formerly Touch Keyboard, page expands the theme and customization settings to the touch keyboard, voice typing, emoji panel, and other input methods. Live Captions Live Captions is a new accessibility feature that allows anyone to better understand audio by viewing captions of spoken content. Captions are automatically generated on device from any content with audio. Captions can be displayed at the top or bottom of the screen or in a floating window. Windows 11 introduces several changes to the narrator experience when browsing the web with Microsoft Edge. In this new version, Microsoft is making it easier to type in edit fields, such as the address bar, because the narrator scan mode will now turn off faster. The narrator will now read the character at the cursor position is at after a character has been deleted. Out of box experience, OOBE. In the OOBE experience, you will now find a new page to process that lets you link your Android phone to Windows 11.